Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Folks, green concept, ticker symbol, INKW. We are seeing some movement and I'm so excited about it. And why I'm so excited about it? Because we are about to have another breakout run coming. But before I gotta talk about the technical side, or oh, as usual, I'm gonna talk about on the fundamentals. And I did mention in my previous video about a news coming out on the growth level, and we discussed about Happy Mellow and sure not. Here you go. Green concept, Happy Mellow Beverage sales expressing a significant growth. And what what does it look like, right? So what does it look like on that? Well, the new, when the news came out yesterday, it was, uh, and I'm going to read the article with you. It was pleased to announce is it sold the first of what it expected to be many truckloads of Happy Mellow CBD immune support at, to an IHO wholesaler. A sale is uh, set in magnifying Happy Mellows as much a larger scale trusted trusted distributors and realtors for the first multiple truckloads of the happy mellow were picked up by companies uh, marion and a sea boarding plant and delivered to springfield Ohio in the mid-february for further distribution and placement in various retails and this is the flavors on that happy mellows right uh there are three bands and well known as be well, be energized, and be balanced, and of vitamin C, vitamin D, and B12. Mr. Larry uh, Lenny Green, um, interest in Happy or Mellow, uh, Happy Mellow growing nationally with a large shipment of the brand delivered in Ohio and soon to be in the hands of local, regional, and national distributors of realtors. And our partnership with KBS Trading sets up. As for the countless truckloads and pickups of a new retail uh, placements of opportunities, growth, 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 and that is we want to hear from Mr. Lenny Green and especially on this produce of Happy Mellow because it it will have, this stock has it's been a roller coaster and it has given a lot of sadness, a lot of pains, a lot of losses, but news like that and where we coming to a key level on the technical side. Why I'm saying is a breakout is about to happen and is setting up that way and news like this will also add up, right? And I think we are not done with the news. We are not done with the news. It's still more news going to come such as on stay hydration and also on be water, what else they have been uh, doing on. Uh, also continue on this article, Mr. Green continues that Happy Mellow Sales had just begin beginning of increased marketing and distribution efforts for CBD immune support beverage to the, uh, the country. It's believed to be happy growth of the Happy Mellow brand to continue our thanks to the quality of beverages of KBS industry in reach and continue the growth and probability of CBD beverage interest of both nationally and globally. Love to see how how what's the impact on the globally, uh, but this company needs more revenue, right? And with the revenue, certain amount of revenues they have, they are not substantial for the growth, which brewing this and uh, uh, love to see on the next uh, quarter of the sale uh, when the earnings come out and what they talk about in terms of their revenue and the growth level on that. So this is a very good news, right? Uh, coming in terms of that. Uh, also on that, uh, market, U.S. and the debt research analysis values the global CBD CBD beverage market is $4.4 billion as of 2022 with an expected reach of $34 billion by 2032 in the compound rate of 23% on that, right? So this is a, and, and stats shows on the growth level, right? But if they can meet the demand, right? You meet the demand, and demand can be only met if the supply is there, right? If can Mr. Lenny Green make sure that they have enough supply of these products to meet it, right? Uh, let's talk on the technical side, why I'm so excited, right? We, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at today first because some key things happened today, right? And I want to share you with you guys what does what did it mean by key things happen, and what was the thing that happened? It triggered for some reason at twenty today at twenty eight zero point zero zero two eight and bounced back again. But we made the high today at zero point zero zero two six, and I was expecting it to happen. Actually, last week it didn't. Right, it was still 
uh, one of the reason was is because of an order flow, right? Still, people were selling it, right? People didn't want it. A lot of InBad did came in today to have the bought it, but it was just a flatty day, right? Flatty day, and you can see on the five-day chart that when we broke out on this green bar right here, we came back pull back. But look at this. My pink line, it is my 200 EMA sitting at 0 0.0023 and 0 0.0024, it is my 60 day EMA. Both looks good. And when I go back, and this is this is why I'm saying it's a breakout, right? And you clearly see that this is the pink line, right? Which is my 200 day EMA, right? But I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna pause for a second because I wanna go back and show you something in terms of this. Right, and then I'm gonna go back because on the look at this my pink line, right? Anytime you have the pink line on top and the blue line is at the bottom, it is a downtrend, folks. And you can clearly see that in time and time we couldn't broke out and we've been trading below that, right? Now we're gonna go back to the one month. What do you see? What I see is a crossover is about to happen, right? You can clearly see that where when we had the way we had this downtrend and where I start saying it hey folks about the news look at this pink line look at this blue line right but pink is the 200 blue is a 60 day and we are about to have this crossover make this still flat we are trading up making higher highs to and higher lows right here right making higher highs higher lows and now we are about to have a crossover this crossover is confirming it right now for a breakout pattern right we're gonna look at it in three months, right? Don't go anywhere, stay tuned because we have a couple more things to cover and to do that. And I wanna share with you guys. So one month it showed it is kind of minor crossover. And now on the three month, we are about to close the gap. But once we close that, that crossover and we trade for at least three days, this gap between the 60 day right here, we're sitting at 0 0.0023 and 0 0.0024 will have this crossover so not a big gap over here in between that but it is gonna have this massive crossover to have that we break this 0 0.028 and we trade in between this channel i love to say trading in between this channel to do that and it's just a matter of time folks it's just a matter of time where we're gonna be start trading in between this channel because we time and time we could not break the 0 0.0033 it is acting as a massive massive resistance level so red line is my support blue line is my resistance and these are the two ones that we gotta keep an eye right and do i see it happening anytime soon absolutely i can see it happening time because look at the gaps on right here right look at these gaps have we how much we have covered look at it right when we had this crossover confirmation bam we just came all the way from 0 0.0056 all the way to 0, 0.00 actually all the way right here to 0 0.18 now we recovered from that all the way to 0 0.8 now our resistance is sitting right here so the blue line which is sitting at 0 0.0026 right and that is a massive resistance to break but i'm that's why mine is sitting at 0 0.0028 because you when you broke and you start trading in between this channel right here and i'm going to draw it for you guys to understand what i'm trying to portray over here because it is very important that we understand how what this trend line and what is what i meant by this right so we've been trading right here right we get a trade in between like this we get rejected again right and then we break out right and then we get rejected again right and then might be pulling back here all these restrictions and making higher highs and higher lows and that's it's my prediction it is happening based on the technical side and this is this is also on the fundamental hey folks thank you for watching the video right and it means a lot to me i appreciate you guys surprising it i know some of you guys in the pain uh, are so much you guys struggling how much it is been a roller coaster ride freaking roller coaster ride with this uh, you know green concept and uh, and news like this should always boost the uptrend on that so just hanging there don't go anywhere you know if you just put a, a notification on and just enjoy it right because when this breakout happens you'll be enjoyable on that and it's right now showing to be a breakout, but it's not a confirmation one month yes but on the three month chart it is still not a confirmation but it is 
trending towards that way you always and that's a very good indication on that so i'm gonna let you guys go folks go we kept review coming on the weekend on green concepts so stay tuned on that don't go anywhere please don't forget to subscribe smash the like button and turn on the notification feel free to answer any questions you have on the comments down below love to hear your thoughts and stay tuned for the next video thank you